Hey, I'm Jay. I'm a mixing and mastering engineer. And you know that series on this channel that goes over how to get cinematic audio in DaVinci Resolve? If you haven't seen those videos yet, that playlist is linked in the description. You should definitely go check that out. Well, there's a huge part of that process that I completely skipped over and I really, really shouldn't have. Let's talk about gain staging. For those of you who don't know, gain staging is essentially the process of achieving and then maintaining audio levels throughout the entire audio process. We're talking everything from recording to mixing to mastering. And it really does start in the recording process. I know we don't cover that on this channel, but I will say really quickly, I have received audio from clients so many times that have that's been like recorded way too loud so it's clipping or way too quiet so that when I raise the levels up, there's a huge noise floor. If you properly gain stage, meaning you record at the proper levels, make sure all of your equipment is set up in a way so that you get proper levels without clipping, then that's just going to make my job a lot easier. What we're doing today is looking at the mixing side of things. So I've got my project open in DaVinci Resolve. This is that same example project that if we've been working with in the cinematic audio series, but we're back to the original state here. So I've just got all my sound effects here and all my dialogue on the timeline. Nothing is there. All of it is set to zero dB. All of my mixing is set to zero dB. We have no adjustments made anywhere, not even any panning. This is just what I would normally receive from a client if I was going to be mixing their video. The problem is since everything is at its loudest, if I played this right now, not only would it sound like a jumbled mess, we would also be clipping at the main bus. Let me go ahead and play that for you right now. Well, here I am, my first day on the job. To be honest, it wasn't my first choice of careers, but it's no big deal. I've got plenty of time to do what I actually wanted to do with my life. Okay, see, I didn't even need to play through the whole thing. You saw that it hit that clipping bar right here. If you actually look at the mixer, you'll see that this little bar up here, if that turns red, that means you're clipping and that's not good. So the first thing that I want to do is actually adjust my clip levels. So one, we've got some headroom on the main bus and two, just to get everything to a point where it's easier to work with. So I can start pushing sliders around and getting my static mix. And it's just much easier to do if everything is at the same level. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually normalize all my audio track by track. And it's really easy. We just need to highlight our clips. This is my dialogue. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit normalize audio levels. And there's a few different ways that you can do this for a bigger project. I tend to try and go to a target loudness of minus 23 LKFS, which is very similar to minus 23 LUFS, by the way. Don't worry about the difference. Not important for this video. Now, for something like a dialogue track where all of the clips are from the same person and the same microphone in the same location, which is how I organize all of my audio projects, I want to make sure that my set level is relative. That way there's not huge level discrepancies between all of my clips and it's just a consistent transition throughout. So I'm going to set my dialogue clips to relative and I'm going to hit normalize. And you'll see if we select any one of these clips, we come into the inspector, we've lowered the clip level by minus 5.3 dB. Next track just has one sound effect on it. We're going to do the same thing, select it, right click, normalize, minus 23 LKFS, boom. This time we raised the level a little bit. This clip here has multiple different sound effects on it. They're all essentially the same, but they're a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna right click, normalize audio, and we're gonna go ahead and set level independent. So each sound effect will be adjusted individually. And here you'll see these bigger clips weren't adjusted at all but these smaller clips were. And I'll just really quickly go through and normalize everything else. And now if we go back to the beginning and we play this, it'll still be a jumbled mess because we haven't balanced anything. We haven't panned anything. It's all still just kind of jumbled together, but you'll see we have more headroom 
on the main bus and we have more room to work with. Well, here I am, my first day on the job. To be honest, it wasn't my first choice of careers, but it's no big deal. I've got plenty of time to do what I actually wanted to do with my life. Right? Okay, deep breath. Here we go. Okay, so you see, we have a lot more headroom now. We've got some more room to work with. It's going to be a little bit easier. Everything is at the same basic levels, so we can just use our sliders to get our static mix, which I'm going to do right now. So now that we have our initial level set and we have our static mix done, the next thing we're going to do is start working with these plugins, doing EQ and compression and all that stuff. But we also need to be gain staging at the same time, meaning we need to make sure that the level coming out of the plugin is relatively the same as the level coming into the plugin. And if we open up one of those plugins, for example, EQ, you'll see not only do we have all of our bands that we have to work with, we've also got a gain slider. So what we need to be doing as we're EQing our dialogue is keeping track of our dialogue meter, which we can do down here in the mixer or even up here in our meters. And we want to make sure that when we're all said and done with our EQ, we have the same levels. And if we do this in the plugin, we don't have to touch our static mix again. So. Let's go ahead and we'll adjust EQ and we'll adjust our gain slider to make sure that our levels are matching. First, what we'll do is we'll get a good idea for where our audio is peaking. So that way, as we adjust, we can keep an, our eye on it and adjust our gain slider accordingly. Well, here I am, my first day on the job. To be honest, it wasn't my first choice of careers, but it's no big deal. I've got plenty of time to do what I actually wanted to do with my life. Right? Could you email me that report when you're done? Yeah, give me five minutes. Okay, so our loudest parts are just below minus five dB and our normal is right around minus 10. So let's go ahead and start doing our EQ and we'll adjust the gain slider when we're all said and done so that it matches that. I've got plenty of time to do what I actually wanted to do with my life, right? Could you email me that report when you're done? Yeah, give me five minutes. Okay, deep breath. Here we go. Well, here I am, my first day on the job. To be honest, it wasn't my first choice of careers, but it's no big deal. I've got plenty of time to do what I actually wanted to do with my life. Right? Could you email me that report when you're done? Yeah, give me five minutes. So we've done our EQ, we adjusted our makeup gain by 2.9 dB, it brought our levels up to that same uh, sitting around minus 10 dB, peaking at around minus five. It's exactly like it was before. And that means we're still sitting without having to touch the sliders in the mixer at all. We're still sitting at the same relative mix. So you see, we've got our makeup gain on the EQ. Also, if we open up our compressor, you'll see we've got makeup gain on the compressor. Basically, every plugin having to do with EQ, dynamics, and even other things are going to have some sort of output control on the plugin so that way you can adjust the levels coming out of the plugin and you don't have to touch your mixer. Even third party plugins, like if we take a look at my own plugin, Riot DQ, which is a dialogue specific EQ, you can see we've got a gain knob. That's what that is. It's a makeup gain so you can adjust the level coming out of the plugin. Riot DQ is still on pre-sale by the way, but not for much longer. We've almost hit our goal. So check that out. It's linked in the description. Now, if you gain stage correctly throughout the entire audio process, you're going to have consistent audio levels. You're not going to have to touch your mixer nearly as often, and it's going to be a lot easier to keep track of what you're doing in your mix. You're not going to have to make these big sweeping moves with your faders all the time because you'll be adjusting levels coming out of plugins, which means your static mix will essentially stay the same throughout the entire process so that 
The only time you really have to touch your faders is in the beginning when you set your static mix and at the end when you do automation. <laughs> 